Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of the uh, Kaidang K60 KD uh, Quadcopter. Um, I did an initial review of this just showing its camera, but uh, one, I didn't get a chance to actually demonstrate things like headless mode, um, the range of the quadcopter. This thing's advertised at 300 meter range. I'm not going to be doing 300 meter range today, but I want to verify that I actually get past at least 100 meters to the edge of the soccer field. Um, one key return, I want to demonstrate that too. So let's just go into it today. And also, I wanted to see how much more flight time I can get by not recording. One thing I noticed is when you record with this camera that comes with it, uh, the flight time wasn't really long. We're talking about three minutes or so, three and a half minutes. Um, can that flight time be greatly increase, increased if you don't record, which means if it, you don't record, you might want to consider removing this camera and and I might consider removing this camera and adding an 808 keychain camera to see how this uh, performs with an 808 because a 300 meter quadcopter uh, with an 808 would be pretty uh, freaking awesome in my opinion. So let's go for a flight and see how it does. Okay, battery is inserted. Turning on the quadcopter. Placing it on the ground. Setting that as our headless mode bearing. Turning on the transmitter. Binding to the quadcopter. And away we go. Again, nice stable flyer, first thing. Let's go into headless mode. And there's your headless mode. So it does have headless mode, as advertised. Let's send it down the, the field, down the headless mode bearing. And activate the one key return. Here it comes, and it comes back down the headless mode bearing as all, all the others do. So, we've got a little side wind there. So, so nothing special about headless mode. You know, as with all, it just comes back down the headless mode bearing. Now, let's come out of headless mode. And where's that camera button? I'm going to go down to the edge of the field here. We're going to try see if we can reach the edge of the grass here which is a hundred meters I'm gonna turn the camera on camera is recording and we should be there so if we reach the edge of the grass we've gone past a hundred meters easily with this thing camera coming off saving battery power the reason I'm doing that folks again is to save battery power Bringing the kiting in for a close examination of it. Very smooth flyer. Again, you know, if this thing can fly with an 808, that's my next flight with this, is to try out the 808 and demonstrate the 808 capability with this. I think it would be an awesome quadcopter. Going out to the edge of the field, camera coming on. I think I'm at the edge of the field. If I go past the edge of the grass, that means I've exceeded 100 meters. Oh! Ah! That was not past the edge of the grass. Turning off the camera. Its range, I had a drop out there, and that was only right at the edge of uh, 100 meters there. I'd say about uh, 90, based on where it dropped into the, the grass. Let's go up to it. Okay, here's where it's dropped, right at the edge of the grass, right at about 99 meters, <laughs> 90, 98, 99 meters. Am I still recording? Okay, and I think, I, actually, it looks like it ran out of power. I'm not sure if that was a fair, okay, there we go. Let's see if I still got flying power. But that looks like a... Uh, Get out of that bush. Well, it looks like the range on this is really about 100 meters, as a, as with most others. Well, that was worth a try to find out. 100 meter range is good, though. But, uh, come on, it was advertised at 300 meters. 
but it is a nice stable flyer so the next thing I'm going to try out is flying this with an 808 because I think flying this with an 808 this 808 in combination with this would be uh, really great because of its stability it's going to high rate let's just fly the rest of this flight um, demonstrating its flight ability this is the funnels you know it's not an acrobatic quadcopter by any means it's, again it's really intended for aerial video and that's about it aerial video only <laughs> but it is very stable flying this would be a good beginners learn to fly quadcopter because of that because of its stability I'm in high rate folks so yeah this would be a good beginners quadcopter too just for learn to fly <laughs> I would recommend though keeping the uh, aerial video to a minimum because of how it sucks battery power with the uh, camera on but without the camera operating it flies reasonably good uh, flight time oh wait a minute now there's I didn't try high it had a high rate I did not know that doesn't seem to be much more though going back to beginner Okay, there's the R rate and high. For those of you wondering, the R rate doesn't seem to change much. Beginner, intermediate, expert, doesn't change at all, actually. <laughs> Same yaw rate for all three, so that's why it's a stable flyer for aerial video only, in my opinion. The kiting. Key. 60. Oh, did I get my uh, thumbnail yet? Not yet. I'm just trying to get thumbnails right now. Because it is pretty cool looking. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, no. It's still staying in the air. But it's getting weak. It's not dropping. I'm at full power right now. Does it have a low voltage drop off? Ah, there we go. Okay, that's its flight time. I ain't going to fly anymore because I'm worried about the battery. <laughs> So that was the K60. Reasonable flight time when you turn off the uh, camera. Pretty bad flight time when that camera is operating, as uh, you saw in my first flight. Um, it doesn't appear to have 300 meter range as advertised. I, it does have about 100 meter range though, because I made it to the edge of the soccer field from the uh, shade. So that is 100 meters. Um, other than that, uh, reasonably good uh, beginners learn to fly quadcopter. Recommended for beginners. This is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.